it compassionate or pro woman to be pro life or pro choice hello everyone and welcome once again so in today's episode we will be discussing a huge issue which is like a hot topic especially in the west abortion and should abortion be normalized or stigmatized let's start so last month i had uploaded a really really few episodes the reason was probably um because of my exams and also a social media break so yes now i will be uploading some more episodes so normally pregnancy is for 36 weeks up to 9 months what is abortion so abortion basically means to terminate the pregnancy and this was started in 1973 when the roe v wade like amendment was established that a woman has the right to practice abortion up to 9 months and it that movement of pro choice was started by margaret sanger at planned parenthood in 1970s and since then millions of babies are like aborted every year and in the year 2022 in the month of probably june this law was overturned and many many states in us banned abortions some for a certain period of time whereas some for all 9 months of pregnancy initially in the abortion movement it was like um only when necessary or in cases of rape or incest it should be implemented but now it is legal to terminate the pregnancy for all 9 months for any reason so there are basically two types of people when it comes to this abortion issue the first type of people are pro life people who are against abortion baby who is not yet born who has not yet seen the world is still living and also most of these pro life advocates are christians for example laila rose at the live who is the ceo of live action org and many many influencers like um christian hawkins or ali bestucky are explicitly pro life some believe that yes if it's really exceptional if she's under it so yes and the second type of people are pro choice people now these people defend abortion and they believe that it is a woman's right a woman has the right to choose this issue is not a huge deal in the other countries but it's a huge deal in the west especially in the us because 57 to 85 percent of teenage pregnancies uh, that is children born out of wedlock are belonging to the american mothers and this issue is really really concerning this issue is also being taken seriously in asia particularly india 85 to 90% of abortions are unsafe cause of this pregnancy could be because of uncontrolled gender mixing now i don't believe that gender mixing or dating is wrong even at teenage days but you should need to have boundaries because during puberty like teenagers do have their brains fully developed but they don't yet think rationally so the root cause of abortion is hookup culture which needs to be erased let's look at scripture and the morality on abortion how we should navigate this issue firstly abortion is a sin though the bible directly does not mention the issue of abortion it certainly has specific principles abortion is viewed negatively the reason is that christians believe that every human being is born in the image of god whether it's a human whether it's a male whether it's a female or whether it's an unbeliever or whoever and in the sixth commandment it says that murder is a sin psalm 139 verse 13 and 14 says you created me in my inmost being you knew me in the womb before i was born i praise you because i'm fearfully and wonderfully made God recognizes the life of the baby even when he or she is in the mother's womb. There is enough proof that unborn babies taste, hear, smile, kick, play, etc. Here in Exodus chapter 21 verse 22 it says, "If people are fighting and hit a pregnant woman and she gives birth prematurely, 
that is before 36 weeks but there is no serious injury the offender must be fined whatever the woman's husband demands and the court allows but if there is serious injury you are to take life for life eye for eye if the woman does not want to abort if the woman wants to give birth the protection of the unborn baby is considered by god then how much it is wrong if a woman chooses to have an abortion also we see in the story of mary and elizabeth elizabeth is pregnant at a really really old age whereas Mary is pregnant at a very very young age and John the Baptist who was the son of who is the son of Elizabeth kicked inside her stomach and even Jesus leaped Mary knew so yes these motherly interactions between the unborn child and the mother are really really common so this means that God recognizes the human life in the womb and it is wrong to abort and also like if we look at the secular reasons then also through a human rights perspective abortion is wrong firstly the biggest myth which these pro-choicers tell that abortion is woman empowering it's a woman's right no it's not a woman's right no a woman's right to murder someone else is not a right if we zoom out of the us or any western country where women choose to have abortion in many many other parts of the country especially in the third world countries we see that 85 to 90 percent of the abortions are sex specific usually girls get aborted and this is definitely not feminist and yet no feminist of today's time talks about it also margaret sanger said his planned parenthood's roots were really really racist she despised black people she despised children she despised families this was the root of modern feminism the lie that being a mother is wrong but serving your employer is empowering now i'm not saying women should not work outside the home but if it compromises the life of someone if it compromises your devotion to god or your family then it's wrong and also this is like really really anti-woman because like if you do more than two to three abortion there is a higher chance of being infertile recently there was a case of amber thurman she was pregnant with twins she already had a son and in georgia because of the pro-life law she wasn't able to abort and then she went to another state where it is legal to abort and then she aborted both of them two children which was really really cruel and then like um there were still body parts of her left of the baby's left and then because she took the pill there were serious complications in her body and then she died like three people died here and the pill abortion pill is also also really really problematic it contains many many toxic chemicals after taking mifepristone pill one in 25 women die that is why the second thing is that abortion is anti-human rights is anti-civilization children are not a burden they are a blessing so i won't support abortion i am unapologetically pro-life even if we look at the hormonal birth control pill it acts as an abortive ticket so like unless it's really really necessary you should not consume it especially for frugal reasons like menstrual cycle etc because firstly it changes the one whom you are attracted you get attracted to more feminine men secondly is that it makes you infertile and gain you gain a lot of weight and so these are the problems with these chemicals now these pro choices won't like to hear how an abortion takes place if you don't advocate for the lives of those who cannot speak who cannot act then you are not a human rights activist and sadly these politicians those leftists and the left-leaning politicians are like or any celebrity like taylor swift or kamala harris or billy elish or olivia rodrigo etc they're advocating for such a cruel thing like they say they promote women's rights and equality no they are not promoting equality these people are pushing toxic empathy a fake compassion that only a selective group has the rights whereas others don't have 
in America, Tim Walz has signed a bill and many people now advocate that even if the baby is born prematurely or even if the woman wants, it is allowed, doctors are allowed to abort the baby. Really cruel. Initially, people thought that when child is born, you can give like it is a life. But now, even if this happens to be born prematurely, it is being killed. So cruel. In Australia that, and in Sweden and in Denmark, such cruel practices are allowed. These poor choices believe that babies are simple clump of cells. No. Hands and legs develop in the first month. The brain develops. There is the DNA. In the textbooks of biology, we have studied that life starts at conception. And that's true. So, being pro-choice is not only unbiblical, but it's also very really impractical. I'm gonna change my podcast name and this podcast will focus on current affairs and technical issues. So, do follow. It's closing tomorrow. Third reason is abortion is anti-diversity. Now, most of the babies who are killed by abortion, not only through pill but through surgical procedures like giving KCL to the unborn baby or tearing its parts down, which is really, really murderous and brutal. And that, like, most of them are g- girls and black people and with Down syndrome who are disabled like blind of them who have albino who have some genetic disorder or who have some genital disorder and if you support diversity equity inclusion between different races sexualities or nationalities or religion whatever you don't support it if you support aborting these people because these people are also human down syndrome people are also human we have come to such a cruel time that initially in like in some 40 50 years ago women used to fear abortion it should be the last option to choose from and now we have come and we are starting loving it we treat it as if it's like a special self-care routine the reason is that the devil is the god of this world all people who desperate we need God. Rather, they are finding the solution, the peace, all in all the wrong places. I love killing babies. I love Jesus it. Jesus, welcome. We have to give her the word. I've had like we have to give the word. Let's I'm going to keep having them. You need our God. We are God. It's really, really cruel. And now many, many pastors, many, many good people and celebrities are advocating for abortion. Just check. A woman who has born two children. I can affirm that I felt something sacred happening in my gestating body during those pregnancies. I can also attest that I felt God's presence with me as I made the decision to end two pregnancies. And I felt no guilt, no shame, no sin. If Jesus were giving his sermon today, he might also have said, Blessed are those who end pregnancies, for they will be known for their loving kindness. You are not a true believer if you support sin. Whether it's abortion, whether it's homosexuality, whether it's gender fluidity. You cannot support murder. Remember that if you support abortion, you are practicing child sacrifice to the god of Molech. So it is literally modern child sacrifice, modern child trafficking, demonization of the family unit. Yes, these affect people and they need God strongly. Jesus would have definitely felt sad and anyone who is sane won't support this. Now what are the solutions? This is a notice. 90% of our episodes will be on both Spotify and YouTube. But due to censorship content, some will be exclusive to Spotify and some will be YouTube exclusive because of too much pictorial content. If suddenly a girl gets raped. Now, even in these cases, the child who is born, who is being conceived through rape, is a human, just the way the one who is conceived through normal pregnancy. I believe that abortion should not happen, unless and until there is a really, really necessary case where the life of the mother is at risk, which is like roughly less than 1% of the total abortions done. 
and yes it is really really feasible even in this circumstances to choose those options which are both saving the life of the baby and the mother there are many many pregnancy care centers who actually care for the women who provide free resources and give that proper adoption to children etc which is really really good look who is compassionate pro lifers pro choice pro lifers are being demonized they are being attacked even while doing peaceful protests whereas these work people who do vulgar protests are being appreciated so we should stand for the truth and be pro life you cannot support abortion because cristiano ronaldo was saved from abortion his mother went to the abortion clinic and the priest stopped her that's why we have the top g we are thankfully in heaven and even if you are hurt by abortion god still cares for you he wants you to be the new creation he sanctifies all your sins so yes if you have been hurt by that don't worry god will definitely give you a new heart and reject this leftist lie as we have created a culture of death in any issue we should protest against this evil we should strive to end abortion so thank you guys for listening to this important episode we see how abortion is cruel and unempowering so choose to be pro life and an advocate for the unborn bye